Hello, it's the Agribusiness Weekend Show again and welcome on board. This is where we get you all the trending info about agriculture and its value chain. So before I go on on the set, make sure you click on that red button here over there. Click on it and subscribe so that you'll be first to get all notifications about Agribusiness Weekend Show. Welcome on set. I'm Jayla Baran. Welcome back. Fruits are concentrated source of natural components. Watermelon and cucumber, for instance, plays a vital role when it has to do with human metabolism. So today we are going to be looking at the viability of cucumber and watermelon production in Nigeria. Welcome on set, Adewumi Aigoro. You're welcome, ma'am. Thank you. And thank you for being on set with thank me. Thank you so you much. You look beautiful. Thank you, and you too. <laughs> All right, now, let's talk about the viability of watermelon and cucumber production in Nigeria. First of all, what is the nutritional value of watermelon and cucumber? Um, watermelon is a very good fruit, and um, it's very viable. The production is very viable in Nigeria because of its nutritional, high nutritional content. Okay. Watermelon has over ninety percent water content. Wow. Which is which makes it very good for the body. So does that mean when you're taking watermelon, you're taking water? Yes, invariably you're taking water. Wow. So it hydrates the body. It's best replaced um, carbonized drink. Wow. When you're on the road and you're tasty, you can always grab watermelon and take. And it has a very high, it has high vitamin content. Okay. Like vitamin B, vitamin C, and the likes. It also, recently we also got to know that it has some properties that fight, that fight the risk of cancer. Wow. So it's a viable fruit. And this is fruit that we can get even by the roadside. Yes, and cheap that wow now okay now let's come over to nigeria what has the production of watermelon and cucumber been like um, over the years over the years it is in the northern area that people really plant watermelon and cucumber okay but recently we discovered that it can be planted in any part of nigeria and wow. during i during a training in a pay Agrikia is that's a Agrik Youth Empowerment Scheme. Okay. I went for a training there and we really dealt on watermelon and cucumber planting. I discovered that we can plant it at any time of the year. Wow. Yes. We can so plant it, it means that anybody who wants to go into watermelon and cucumber production has no no reason to start considering no. when mm. to plant. No. That's a good source of opportunity. Yes, it's a good source. Now, what are some of um, the areas that you feel that the government should look into when it comes to this type of fruit production? Well, we, there are challenges. So we need government to look into these challenges because when you want to go into this production, the cultivation of watermelon and cucumber, to make it really profitable, we need a large estimate of land. Okay. We need finances, okay. good finances, because it's it's yields well. You understand? Yeah. So we can really put in a lot of money into it and get out something tangible. Okay. So we really need assistance from the government to empower youths the right. more. You understand? To yeah. encourage youths the more to go into it. Then we also have um, the issue of um, marketing. You understand we have okay. the measure which is an issue with most agri products okay but this can be combated in such a way that like the institute that like the training institute in Ekpe, okay there are some people that come in there to buy our products the government can always liars with, with companies that okay we have an institute we have a, a scheme here you can always get in the products for the for the end users and the companies that produces Jews, okay. you understand. Now, um, before we go to the last question, I want you to tell our viewers out there, if 
for instance, I'm a youth and I've, I decide to venture into watermelon and cucumber production. I believe that the end product of watermelon, most especially, are very, very much. It's not just eating it like watermelon. You can use it to do smoothie. Yes. Yeah, you can use it to do fruit juice and all those stuff. So what are the opportunities available in this kind of fruit production? Aside the planting and the, the you can always package the fruits, blend it and package it okay. in an attractive pack. Send it, sell it to end users. The marketing aspect is there. Then, the oh, like oh, would I call it the smoothies, like yeah. you say. Then the uh, and the, the the fruit salad. You can combine it with other fruits. Okay. You know, it depends on the way you package things. Okay. So youths out there can always have an opportunity to get some byproduct and the likes from. So what will I need to start a watermelon and a cucumber production? You need a land. Okay. You need a vibe. You need viable seeds. Okay. Then, little technical know-how. All right. Little technical know-how. Just those little things, and within eighty-five days, your watermelon is ready. Wow! Yes. It's that quick. Yes. And um, cucumber takes between forty to forty-five days. Wow. Then you need an irrigation system, which is um, where, a source where you water your plants properly because mm -hmm. if you are planting out of rainy season you still you need water to support the plant to yeah. grow well okay now um let's talk about the economy i know that the covid 19 has affected all sectors of the economy but i believe that even with covid 19 people will stay eat as a matter of fact food is more important right now yeah. than any other thing now what is the economic impact of watermelon and cucumber production now the economic impact of watermelon and cucumber production when youth sees the opportunity and goes into it instead of looking around for a job and the like mm -hmm. number one because um cucumber and watermelon are very good for the health yeah the more the youth go into it the more we have the fruits around especially when they do it year in year out mm -hmm. since it's not going to be a seasonal yeah. crop if you notice very well, there are times you get to the market and you find out that you, they, are, they are not available. But when the youth surround goes in, in, into the production and makes it readily available, it helps the economy to boost, it yeah. helps increase um, employment, employment. Okay. you understand. The youth get busy doing one thing or the other and it avoids um, the issue of... Um, like the, um, uh, this youth's finances? Uh, yes, okay. it does. So, and it helps you use to get something at the end of the day. Um, On an hectare of land, you can get two tons of watermelon when you plant at the early season. At the late season, you get a ton. A ton is a whole lot, two yeah. tons is a whole lot. How there, you get to know the amount of sell. You know, a ball of watermelon is sold between 500 to 700, mm -hmm. depending on the area. So imagine getting a ton and two, two, um, two tons and from selling it at that rate. So it helps as to cash. <laughs> <laughs> it helps to relieve the pressure on the economy. Yeah, that's right. All right, we'll take a short break now. Don't go away. My name is Baron Omiji, the head of Agibis of Anchor Insurance Company Limited. Keep watching Agibis Business Weekend Show. Welcome back. It's still Agribusiness Weekend Show and this is game time. See, I love this section of the, of the show, seriously, because I get to know more about my guests and I get to know, okay, this is what they can do and this is what they can do. All right, so um, Adewumi, we have 10 questions. Yeah. So, um, no, don't worry, calm <laughs> down. We'll not be asking you the 10 questions. All right. So, out of 10 questions, you just pick three questions okay. randomly. So, you just pick any number and there we go. Hmm. <laughs> is that the last prayer? Mm. We can pray it together. <laughs> okay, so what number? Question five. Question five. Question five says, who is your best singer? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, best singer, not a music person as so. Okay. But I think I like the Bellaby. 
Talk to Alabi. Mm. Can you give us some? Ah, I'm not good at this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at that. Uh huh. But I actually like Talk to Alabi. I like her songs. I like the inspiration. I like it. Okay, so you love what she does. Wow, well, that's great. So she loves Talk to Alabi. Note it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next number. Ten. Number ten. <clears throat> I like this one. No. Mm -hmm. What's your best food? Wow. <laughs> Best food is <laughs> best food. <laughs> is it what I'm thinking you want to say? <laughs> wow, I'm a farmer. Okay. My best food. That's the farmer there. <laughs> I actually love Ogbonna soup mm. with Amala. Mm. <laughs> She's a farmer. She said it. <laughs> That's nice. That's amazing. Ogbonna soup with Amala. Okay, maybe you cook it for us something. No problem. <laughs> All right, so let's go for the last number. Question one. Question one. What's something you would always want to do? You always wanted to do as a child, but never got to do it. Wow. As a child, I really wanted to fly. Fly. As in, drive. <laughs> I actually wanted to study aeronautical engineer. Wow. <laughs> so, as a child, I envisage. I really want to drive a plane and wow. I've not done it. I wish I can still do it. Is it you can possible? still do it. It's <laughs> never too late. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Adewumi, for being on set with us today. Thank you. And um, it was amazing talking with you about cooking bar and watermelon production. That's it on the show today. Thank you for staying with us. Now, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel at Agribusiness Weekend and follow us on Twitter and Instagram, Agribusiness Weekend. Till I come your way next time, I'm Joy Labaran. Start exploring.